Before we talk about DOPs in Spanish, direct object pronouns, we need to review what a direct object is. I have the dogs. She sings the song. We watched the program. A direct object is the thing that is directly impacted by the action of the verb. So we can ask ourselves, what is verbed? What was verbed? What is being verbed? And when I say verbed, I mean, what is had? The dogs. What is sung? The song. What is or what was watched? The program. So those are our direct objects. A person can also be a direct object. We watched Johnny. We watched him. Oh, him, that is a direct object pronoun. I have them, them referring to the dogs. She sings it, it referring to the song, or we watched it, it referring to the program. Just like in English, in Spanish, it is not proper to just throw in a direct object pronoun if you have not already referred to the direct object of that verb because it's really unclear and up in the air as to what it or them could be referring to. In order to use a direct object pronoun, you need to first in some way refer to the direct object. So how do we determine our direct objects and figure out the correct direct object pronoun in Spanish? Well, we ask ourselves the same question. What is verbed? What is directly affected by the verb? Here we have a very short dialogue. ¿Quién canta la canción? Ruben Blades la canta. Ruben Blades, no lo conozco. Here we have two direct objects and two direct object pronouns. First, canta. What is sung? La canción. Okay, that's our first direct object. And we refer to it in the second sentence, but we do not say la canción. What do we say instead? La. Ruben Blades la canta. Okay. Then we have Ruben Blades, no lo conozco. Here we also have a direct object pronoun, lo. So la is a direct object pronoun and lo is a direct object pronoun because they replace our noun. Remember, a pronoun replaces, it substitutes a noun. So you do not have to repeat the noun. No lo conozco. What does lo refer to? Ruben Blades. So instead of saying no conozco a Ruben Blades, we have no lo conozco. As I mentioned previously, a person, a place, or a thing, any noun you have, can be a direct object. So we have direct object pronouns that we use to refer to people, places, and things. Another example would be, ¿Por qué me miras así? Mm, Tienes algo verde metido en los dientes. The direct object pronoun that we use here is me, referring to a me. Overall, the direct object pronouns that we can use in Spanish are me for a me, te, a ti, lo or la for a él, a ella, a usted, or El perro, la casa, el avión, nos, a nosotros, os, a vosotros, los, and las. Here we have several more examples of sentences using direct objects and direct object pronouns. ¿Quién lleva la mochila verde? Juan la lleva. La replaces la mochila verde. ¿Por qué nos ayudas a nosotros? Os ayudo porque sois mis amigos.
Nos refers to a nosotros. And remember, if we have nosotros or yo uh, in a question, we are going to answer with tú or vosotros or ustedes and vice versa. So we have os for a vosotros in the answer. ¿A quién buscas? A ti. Yo te busco a ti. Te refers to a ti. You. ¿Cuándo trae Felipe las flores? Las trae ahora mismo. Las, las flores. And, ¿por qué vas a comprar los zapatos? Voy a comprarlos porque me gustan. You may notice two things that are different about these sentences that I didn't mention previously. First, we cannot ask ourselves here, what is verbed? We have to ask ourselves, who is verbed? Because we're talking about a person. As I said, a person can be the direct object of an action. So what or who is verbed? That is how we will find our direct object. Additionally, los is in a different place than our other DOPs. When we are forming a sentence, our pronoun, our object pronoun or reflexive pronoun, indirect object pronoun, can either go before a conjugated verb or at the end of the infinitive verb or gerund. Here are a couple other examples of the DOP at the end of a not conjugated verb, the infinitive, or a gerund. For all of these, we could also put our DOP before the other verb, which is conjugated. So, te estoy llamando por teléfono, instead of estoy llamándote por teléfono. Lo quiero ver hoy, instead of quiero verlo hoy. O lo necesitamos buscar en la tienda, instead of necesitamos buscarlo en la tienda. To summarize, I have a little song. Well, a little ditty for you. Here's a little ditty about DOPs. They replace the noun, it's so easy. Me, te, lo, la, nos, os, los, and las. Use the ones, the nouns, no mas. Before the verb, when conjugated or the end of the infinitive, it's faded. Singular, plural, masculine, or feminine, coordinated, that's me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. So, practice this at home. It'll help you remember the rules for when and how to use your direct object pronouns in Spanish.